So visual scripting in Unity is now finally official because Unity has just now acquired Bolt and made it available for free for everybody. Now there are some things we need to talk about so let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Saikuru Sam here and welcome back to another episode of Unity News, basically. This is what it is. <laughs> no, but I think this is going to be a start to a series of Bolt tutorials, maybe? I don't know, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. Anyway, so I've been looking forward to the visual scripting solution in Unity ever since the Unity announced that they were going to work on it, but it came down to the fact that it was going to be dots only because that is the latest piece of technology that they want to essentially, you know, eventually migrate everything into. But obviously that is taking time because it's a new piece of technology and so when the visual scripting tool was limited to dots only even I thought for myself I was like okay so that basically means either the visual scripting tool is not gonna be available for a long time until dots is very stable or B it's going to become available but it's going to be changed majorly with each update but we're talking about the past because now with bolt being acquired that literally changes everything this means that we will now have a tool that's maintained and further developed by unity for mono behavior projects and their own tools quote unquote will be pure dots when it becomes available this way we at least now have something we can get our hands dirty with which is really good so what we're going to do in this video is first and foremost we're going to take a look at the blog post right here i'm going to show it here because you know video editor hello we're going to take a look at the blog post and we're going to see what's new and what's really important for you guys to know from this release and then we're going to launch up unity and in a very short segment and i i underline this very briefly we're just gonna take a look at how to get started with Bolt. Again, this may become a start to the series of Bolt tutorials, so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a series of this. And with that being said, let's get into it. So they start off by saying this, quote, A short while ago, Unity announced the acquisition of the Bolt visual scripting asset from developer Ludic. Now that the integration and technical transition of Bolt to Unity is complete, we are very happy to announce the next step in our plan to deliver visual scripting to all Unity creators. Bolt is now available for download by all Unity users through the Unity Asset Store. Users who purchased Bolt after Unity made the acquisition announcement on May 4th will receive a refund in the amount of their purchase, we'll be sending an email to those users within the next two weeks. I think it's really nice of them and also just <laughs> generally speaking I feel like it's the natural selection or was the natural selection to make Bolt available for free after you acquire it, right? And also, you know, we're going to talk more about this further into this video, but just considering the fact that the visual scripting tool Unity is building themselves from scratch, from ground up, is going to be dots only. It was only natural that Bolt or whatever asset they, you know, acquired, which Bolt makes sense in this case, but whatever they acquired should be available for mono behavior users as well, or people who are not using dots, basically. They also say that the next version of Bolt, which is Bolt 2, it will bring improvements in capability, scalability, performance, and ease of use, and it's currently in development. When it arrives, Bolt 2 will also be included in all Unity plans at no additional cost, more information to come later this year on this specific topic. Quote, we are committed to providing a great visual scripting experience for users for all types of projects, regardless of the architecture. Bolt is an acceleration of this mission towards providing that experience. We're also working to refine our various node-based tools to improve the general user experience progressively over time across the editor. I think this, end of quote, <laughs> I think this is a very key point because now we have Shader Graph and Visual Effect Graph, which are two different tools, visual tools for creating, you know, shaders and visual effects just visually without having to script them. And now there is Bolt as well. And then there will be the new tool that's being made in-house by Unity for Dots visual scripting. And I have a feeling that there are, there's gonna be probably more because you know, the whole industry is moving into more of like making everything more accessible for artists and people who are not programmers, which 
visual scripting is going to help by a ton of. But having that synchronization across all of Unity, the editor, just makes so much sense, especially when you have multiple tools which are going to function in the same way. In their FAQ, they all say this, quote, Will this acquisition change Unity's own visual scripting tool development? And they answer by saying, Unity remains committed to providing a core experience of visual scripting in Unity for all types of projects, regardless of the architecture. We are actively working on refining the synergy between our various node-based tools so that visual programming gets progressively unified across the engine. It's also important to notice one more time that Unity has only acquired the Bolt asset and not Ludic, the publisher. They also mentioned that Bolt 2 is currently in development and that they're working to deliver a high quality release and a great experience for the users. They say, we're looking forward to sharing more details as it comes together and the release approaches. Join the conversation in the forums, which I'm going to link in the description because I'm a nice guy like that. They also say, should I use Bolt for my project or wait for Bolt 2, which I think is a very interesting question. So their answer is, quote, we invite all users to use Bolt for projects expected to ship with Unity 2018, 2019 or 2020. Unity is committed to supporting Bolt for the duration of those LTS life cycles. LTS stands for long-term support, which is 0.4, basically 2018.4, 2019.4, and then 2020.4. And that's why Bolt 2 is expected to take over for future versions. Look at that, they're transitioning, they're helping me transition into the video. How can I get started with Bolt? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so here I am in Unity 2020. Now I'm gonna show you a very, once again, a very brief and very, very quick, like super short guide and overview of, you know, how to get started with Bolt. And again, if you guys wanna see a full fleshed out tutorial on this, please do let me know in the comments and smash a like on this video. Anyway, so since in Unity 2020 and upwards, the asset store tool or the window has been removed from within the Unity editor for performance related issues. So what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna go to our web browser. I'm using Safari because I'm on Mac, of course. <laughs> what do you think I will use, Chrome? You think this is Windows? <laughs> so on the homepage, you can see Bolt Visual Scripting, but you can also search for it. So we're just gonna click this. And once it loads, we're gonna say, add to my assets. And when it's added, you can just go open in Unity. And once Unity opens up, you're gonna see Bolt in here. So you just wanna go ahead and download this. And then finally you import. And then you're gonna have a folder called install Bolt. So in here, I have Bolt 1.4.12 Net4, and Net4 is the scripting runtime version that I'm using for my project. If you're not sure about which one your project is using, you can actually go into the README, and then it just says, go to Tools and install Bolt, and it would automatically detect that for you. So we're gonna import this one, the Net4 one, and then you simply go through the installation. So you can pick the names to be displayed in a <laughs> human naming way or programmer naming. And this is actually really cool. I was laughing but it was only for a joke basically um i think the programmer one is the one that i'm most used with so i'll just go for this one here you can pick the assemblies and by default just like it says here all project and unity assemblies are included so all you can do is literally just browse down to the bottom unless you want to add something custom and then just press next. And here you can choose the types that you wanna use. And again, you know, mono behavior types are always included. So bottom, generate. And there we go, Bolt has successfully been set up and now you can go to the manual, you can go to configuration or you can close this window, which is what we're gonna do. Now, I actually don't really know why this folder is still called Ludic. I don't know if they intend to change it because now it's technically from Unity or maybe they wanna keep it that way, who knows. But one more thing that I do wanna show you guys before we end this video is, here, when you search for Bolt on the Unity Assets Store, you're gonna see a bunch more projects that are available or assets that are available. And these are the different Bolt kits, which are now actually published, technically speaking, published by Unity Technologies. So they are now, you know, officially available through Unity and you can download all of them for free and you can try them out in Unity. These are absolutely fantastic to get started. And again, you know, we're gonna be making our own tutorials as well. And maybe we can cover these in some of the videos as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that. And again, this is just a short guide on how to get started with Bolt. So I'm gonna pretty much leave it here and I'll be waiting for comments from you in terms of what you would like me to create in Bolt. Or maybe if you just want a beginner's guide series to Bolt. I've used Bolt in the past when it was actually being made by Ludic and it, it's a very, very useful tool. And I think it's a very smart acquisition by Unity, especially now that they wanna put their focus onto mono behavior developers as well and make it available 
um, make the concept of visual scripting available in Unity officially already now. And again, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a full-on tutorial series on Bolt, and we'll probably do the same for Bolt 2 as well when it's released. Also, smash like on this video if you want to see more, and with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys to it with a little bit of music in the background. Last time I said the same thing, I was going to leave you with the Turkish music, but then I got copyright stroke. Stroke? <laughs> copyright struck. I think that's the word. So I had to remove it and re-upload the video, but I couldn't remove that segment, so... I'm a little sad for that. But this time, I'm gonna leave you with some uncopyrighted music, so I'll see you guys in the comment section and in our Discord server. Have a good one, and peace out.